curious just uh, what was the reaction in your room to the uh, Jadevian clowny news and, and how much do you figure your guys have a, a, a half a second or however much time less to have to defend on, on most pass plays now? Well, obviously, the guys were excited when you could add a um, player of JD's um, caliber and us in the back end just understanding that's just going to help us on defense and be able to get after the um, quarterback and it's going to make our job, you know, a lot easier when we could put pressure on the quarterback. So adding a guy like J.D., um, the guys were really excited. Teresa? Hey, Coach, uh, how has uh, Christian Fulton come along? You know, he missed a couple of – a few days there. Uh, uh, has his rookie preseason gone like you'd hope, and how has he kept pace? Um, he's been fine. You know, obviously with a lot of rookies, you know, it's just tough not having that off season. But these guys are put in the extra time and extra hours um, just trying to get caught up to speed. Um, so where we need these guys to be. And he's been coming along fine and we're happy where he's at. Buck? Hey, Coach, appreciate you doing this. Uh, if you could also speak to the progress that Chris Jackson has made uh, Kevin Byard was incredibly complimentary of what he's seen out of him from a veteran's perspective throughout the course of training camp. Have you seen, uh, have you been equally as impressed as Kevin or what observations have you made about his progress? I've been really impressed from the time, you know, we drafted Chris from our first meetings on zoom. He's come in, he's prepared, he's smart. Um, he has great attention to detail. He listens, he takes coaching and he, he, you know, he leans on the veteran guys and those guys are helping him out. And they're, he's earned their respect by the way he's comes to the meetings and compete in the meeting room and also competing in, um, on the practice field. And he's done that throughout the entire camp that we had. So um, he earned this, um, the right to be on this team and, and to be, be sitting in that room. And he's really um, earned the respect of the veterans by the way he's prepared and the way he competes on the field. Glennon? Hey, Anthony. Uh, yeah, a couple questions for you. One sort of a follow on Chris Jackson there. Um, I know he was kind of, a, you know, maybe a, a safety or a corner when you guys drafted him. Did he end up playing, you know, pretty much all corner uh, in training camp? Or, you know, is there still potential for kind of a hybrid situation there at all? Um, we moved him around. Um, he's basically been focusing on corner, but Chris has the versatility to play anywhere we ask him to play. He's, he's that, you know, he has that type of football. Um, IQ that whatever we ask him to do, he can handle it. But right now, he's really just playing um, at the corner spot right now, not safety. Sure. And just a thought on on Denver. Um, two of the, of course, the main guys you, you focus on, Drew Locke and, and I guess Jerry Judy. There's not a whole lot of pro tape to, to analyze, I don't guess. Um, how do you go about preparing for them? And, and just maybe what are your thoughts on those two players at um, at this point? Well, obviously, Locke started the last five games for him, went four and one, um, did a really good job finishing out the season, finished with some momentum. So we have some tape to go on there. And then with Judy, obviously, you got to go back with no preseason game and study what he did um, at Bama in college and watch the guy. You know, he's a really talented receiver. We understand that. We got our work cut out for us. But not only those two guys, you know, they have Sutton, who's a, you know, a top flight receiver in this league, who's a big physical guy that we're going to have to contend with as well. Eric? Oh, Claire? Anthony, what did you lose uh, with Dane Crookshank getting hurt in terms of versatility and, and some options in, in terms of coverage? Well, obviously, when you lose a player like Dane, obviously not only on defense, but, you know, a core special team player for us. And, you know, from a depth standpoint, a guy that was – you know, playing at a high level for us. So obviously, you know, we're going to miss his athleticism and what he brought. But, um, you know, we just, you know, want him to get healthy as possible. He's still engaged in the meet rooms. and um, But obviously we're going to miss Dane, you know, for what he brought to us from a depth standpoint and the value he added on special teams. Try Eric again. Sorry about that. I lost connection. Uh, hey, Anthony, I, I was just curious about the impact that Jadavian Clowney has on the rest of the secondary. And I also want to ask you about your personal relationship with him, uh, just what that's like going back to Houston. 
Well, JD, obviously, like I said before, you know, when you add a guy that can get in, you know, that you to get after the quarterback and, you know, and affect the quarterback, obviously that, that helps us in the back end. You know, obviously we still got to do our job, but when you add, you know, pass rushers, guys that can affect the game and affect the quarterback, it really helps you um, as a unit and as, as a defense as, as a whole. But JD, like me and JD were really, you know, close, you know, obviously, you know, with my time in Houston, he's a guy that, you know, I would talk to every day and just JD is just a down to earth guy, great personality and guys are going to love him here. You know, the one thing I can say when you get him on Sunday, he plays, you know, hard. He, I mean, he, he, he plays hard, extremely hard. So that's the thing you respect about the guy, but I just, you know, I'm happy for JD that he ended up here with us and we get a chance to reunite and, um, and hopefully looking for good things for him helping us out this year. Got one here for you, Coach. Uh, Christian obviously missed practice time due to injury. Um, how challenging is it to keep him up to speed after no OTAs, no mini camp, no off season, and uh, then missing practice reps? Well, you know, obviously with these guys not having preseason, like we talked about, um, you know, those live reps, you know, you just can't simulate that. But he's been engaged. He's been in every meeting. He's been doing the walkthroughs, the jog throughs, and he's actually been back out there the last couple of days. So. We just got to keep him going as much as possible to keep him engaged, continue to ask him questions. But these guys are going to naturally get better by the reps they get out there and take that they learn from. We coach off of, they make a mistake and have to get it corrected. So it's a little different than just, you know, just going through a job through. But the, as many live reps as he can get, the more he'll continue to get better. 